Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and I want to show you how to get your HTC One M8 back to fully stock as if it was out of the box. Now I have the Verizon one here, and I'm going to show you how to get it back to stock from being rooted, and also I'm going to turn S back on instead of off. So first of all, I have a link in the description of where you need to get your download files and whatnot. One of the first things that you're going to have to download is this zip file here. So download it and then put it on your external SD card. So the process that we're going to do here is first we're going to run the RUU. While this is downloading, let me explain the process real quick. Basically, we're going to run the RU file and then we're going to lock the bootloader. Then we're going to turn S on and then we're going to get super user off. So that's basically it's a four you know, step process to get everything back to stock. But once we do, it'll be like as if you had it out of the box. You will need to have ADB set up. All right, so the download's complete. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into your file manager. I like to use ES File Manager to do this kind of stuff. It's gonna be the OP6BIMG zip. Just take that, cut it. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to your external SD card and just paste it on the root of that. Hit grant permissions. So we'll let this transfer over and then I'll be right back with you. The file's moved over to the external SD card and that's one way to do it so you can boot into Fastboot and do it that way. So if you wanted to run this on your phone, you can actually just go to the Fastboot option. So basically reboot into your bootloader, then you'll hit HBoot and it should automatically pick up the file and you can see here volume up, yes, then no, so we'll hit yes. It's just kind of one of those things you kind of follow the prompts to let it do its thing. The way to get into your bootloader is a few different ways. The way I normally do it is through the Flashify app. It's just the easy way to do it from already having the phone on. If your phone is off, you can do the bootloader by pressing and holding the volume down and power for a few seconds and you'll see it kind of boot up to its own. Once this finishes up, I'll be right back with you. All right, so everything finished up and it says update complete and power to reboot. So I'm going to tap the power button. So congratulations, once you get this all rebooted, you are now stock. All right, so congratulations, you have successfully restored your Verizon HTC One M8 to pre-rooted stock ROM with stock recovery. Next step is we're gonna relock the bootloader, so sit tight, we're gonna do some ADB commands, so get everything all set for that. All right, so something that you can wanna do to get started, especially if you just got this thing wiped out, is go to your settings, scroll to the bottom, go to about, you're going to go to software information, more. Then you're going to tap on the build number a bunch of times until you say, until you see you are now a developer. So go all the way back. Then you're going to see developer options now. Hit OK. Make sure it's on at the top. Then scroll down. You're going to want to check on USB debugging. So I'm following this guy that was posting XDA forms, if you didn't realize that by now, and I'll post the same link in the description. So we're on step number two, relocking the bootloader. So we're gonna turn over to the computer now to do stuff. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your command window is in the ADB folder and to get everything going. So let's go ahead and connect our device. All right, so let's go to our command window. And the way to do that is to go to your platform tools then you're going to want to hit shift and right click in a blank area or blank space. Hold on shift, right click. You're going to see open command window here. And this is going to be where we're going to start doing all this kind of stuff. Once you get all your debugging set on the phone, what you're going to, want to do is plug it up to the computer and then you're going to, want to hit shift and right click and hit open command window here and I have it set up in the platform tools. And to check to make sure that your device is communicating with your computer, type in ADB devices. And here, here you can see that it says list of devices attached. You see the serial number there. The next command that you wanna do is ADB shell. And then type in SU. And this is going to be where you're going to want to copy and paste a command. And I'll have a link in the description again. And hit enter. And it really doesn't take that long to do. So you got another command to do. And that's going to be exit. 
and type in exit one more time. And you're back to the original prompt. Now you're going to want to see if it's actually unlocked or locked. So what you're going to do is type in ADB reboot to bootloader. And this should reboot your phone. So up here you can see that it says locked. It's no longer unlocked. And now the next step is to do S off and then we'll unroot it. Okay, so make sure that your device is rebooted to the normal screen and whatnot, and then just set it off to the side. All right, so this is actually a pretty important step. You might get this prompt, so hit always allow from this computer and hit OK. And sometimes that'll pop up and it kind of like messes you <laughs> up, like, like, why isn't the commands working? You have to kind of look out for that. So let's go back to the platform tools and type in ADB devices. And now it's attached. You can see device and it's not offline, so we can now do ADB reboot bootloader and that should boot you back into the bootloader there we are and this is going to be one of those other instances to where you're going to want to just copy and paste this can be fast boot OEM write secure flag 3 so control C Back over here, right click to paste, hit enter, and that should be it there. And as quick as that was, you can see that S is now on. So we got that step out of the way. The next is to remove the super user permissions to get rid of the root. So we got all the steps out of the way. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to reboot the phone. So just hit reboot, hit the power button. To get rid of root, just go to the Super SU app, go to settings, scroll to the bottom, then you'll see full unroot. And that should be it there. You shouldn't see the Super SU app there anymore. All right, to verify that root is no longer there, go ahead and install the root checker app. Shouldn't take but a second to get download. Hit open, agree, okay and then hit verify root. It says, sorry, this device does not appear to have root access, but what I like to do is to go all the way back and go back into the app and you're unrooted. So this has been the full complete walkthrough of how to get your device, your HTC One M8, all the way back to out of the box stock. Now you might be asking, well, why would I want to do this? Like I want to keep root. Some of the reasons why you might want to do this is like if you're going to be trading a phone, if you're going to be taken back to the store, if you need to turn it in for warranty or anything like that, you're going to want to put it back to stock. It's always the safest bet. That way you just don't run into any kind of headaches with uh, whoever you're dealing with. So I hope that you found that this video was helpful to you. If you did, please give a nice thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.